Hey everyone, today we are going to be talk with the Lindsay Smith. Uh, he is a like a sort of a pioneer into the bubble uh, development. He is doing a bubble for more than two and a half years and built a nine to ten plugin. And he is working as a bubble freelancer and helping our clients to build their product. So let's learn from him and what's their journey with the bubble. So let's start. Um. What do you want to talk about, Anka? I'm intrigued. Yeah. So basically, uh, let me just talk a little bit about what exactly and how why I reached to you and everything. So uh, I'm a YouTuber. I record uh, videos on the YouTube and also the interviews related to the uh, bubble developer or no code person who are doing a great work into the no code community. And I following you your uh, specifically on the bubble forum. Your uh, right. Comment your post and everything, and I also see your profile onto the no code guide dot io. I'm also listed there, so I just browsing uh, other bubbler. So, cool. and I just find okay, uh, it's been a great. I think it will be a great to talking to you, and uh, record a one podcast or record a one sort of a uh, like a interview sort of thing, where I can post on the YouTube and fellow bubbler can also learn from you. And you have a great <laughs> knowledge uh, about the bubble, and you are doing a bubble. I think uh, from long. How much? How from how long you're doing a bubble? Oh, about, about probably two years or a bit longer, two and a half years or so. I'm not. I'm not one of the original guys. I'm a. <laughs> I'm sort of a second generation. <laughs> no, no, no. You are. You are. And, uh, you are becoming so modest. <laughs> what about yourself? Yeah. So basically, how long have you been doing? uh i think more than one year so more than one year i'm uh, building a uh, some product using a mobile uh, doing some freelancing here and there and i also recently launched one uh, course on the bubble plugin yeah so to like yeah. let to uh, because i just feel like a lot of people are posting very related to bubble plugin and uh, there's a lot good thing uh, written by a lot of many people on the bubble forum Related to bubbles, related yeah. to bubble plugin, and people feel like this is sort of a untouched territory, and it only involves the code and everything. So they just don't feel like to go into that. So I just feel like there is a, a gap into that should fill it up. Yeah, um, I think plugins. You can go quite a long way without plugins, but if there's pretty much plugins are, I think, what make. Um, Bubble powerful, and if you don't, and if you, you you can, it's not difficult. If you know a bit of JavaScript, you can start with a really easy plugin and then figure it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that will also like JavaScript is pretty easy to learn. So if you follow some good tutorials, some so you can easily. So I just want to fill that gap. Okay, everyone is pretty much comfortable. Okay, there they don't feel like okay. Oh, what is that bubble plugin? And so then, and you have uh, posted I think nine sort of a plugin, and onto uh on to bubble how how you started the bubble plugin how do i start i um well, i was just interested to learn just to figure it out <laughs> okay you know, just so and i think what i did was i saw some open source ones where you can see the code of how another person's done it and i had a particular requirement to for a plugin right at the beginning and I found a open source plugin where I could copy the, you know, start with that piece of code. Yeah. And then I started with that and, and that gave me the structure of how to put a plugin together. And then I just evolved that. And so I think if you, if, if I hadn't had that plugin to copy at the beginning, it would have been really hard because there's a whole lot of stuff you need to know just to get started. Yeah. So I think if you, copy an open source plugin and then figure out how that's all put together and then that's how i started and um, same with yeah. me same with me i have also copied uh very like not copied but i was seeing a same that plugin so c plugin code and then oh this is pretty straightforward i can do that too <laughs> so that's why i yeah, just exactly. um, yeah. i just cloned it copy it and just try to Debugging how exactly it worked and all. I did after about a year. I bought Vinny, Vinny's course. You know, Vinny in the forum. He's he's a 
a Brazilian guy who does plugins and he's really good. He does PDF Conjurer and uh, I think Vinity, V I M I sort of a guy, I think. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he does a lot. And he does a lot. Um, I bought his course and went through that, and um, but for me, I just like just try just. It's almost like a hobby. I just do it for fun. So I went through the course and I still dig into that when I've got a question. I'd go and have a look in this course and find out, oh, so this is, you know, helps a lot. But the forum as well, it's just got so many. The forum has quite a lot of good stuff and it has some kind of less helpful stuff at times. As well. <laughs> so you have to kind of sift through the forum. Uh, uh, and you see a nice tweaking of the word. Pardon? I just saw that nice tweaking of the word, not helpful, rather than waste of time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the forum's great. I mean, it's a really friendly place, and I, so it's a nice, it's a nice place. But um, sometimes, oh, I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> you can go. It's not helpful. No, but it's, but it's, it's, everyone's trying. I think everyone's. Got the right intentions in the forum, uh, you know. Yeah, I also think this is uh, sort of a. Sorry, go on. No, go ahead. I was was just going to say everyone's got the right intentions, and that's what makes Bubble quite um, a nice environment, a friendly place. I just feel like uh, this is a small community compared to the other, like Google, uh, Apple, and all, like all the big players. So this is a new, new or very small community. And people are very good in terms of so yeah so and they are pretty much helpful to everyone so yes yeah. yeah I feel because there's the same sort of twenty people <laughs> posting in the forum all the time I can't even though I've never I mean I've I've I know who you I've known I've seen your postings for a year a year you know a long time and so I've got to know you through reading your posts and go, oh, so Anka does that. Oh, yeah, okay. Anka, <laughs> what's, a for, oh, yeah. what's a real first impression about me, about writing a post? Just be fair. Uh, I thought you had to, I thought uh, he's a professional guy with an agency. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I think is good. Like a, that I think is good. <laughs> That's good, yeah. A good, good impression, yeah. Okay. And I, I just, I just, I just look in the. I just help the people in the forum who seem nice. That's my kind of role. If someone's really struck, really trying to ha- trying hard, and they've sort of, you know, I've read the documentation. I tried this. Um, then I read. I want to help them, and I help in the forum because everyone's a beginner. Yeah. Everyone's a beginner at some point, you know. And and if, there was a there's a guy. Um, what's his name? Marchin. Marchin. Uh, he's a, another Brazilian guy, actually. Um, C. Markin. C. Markin. Oops. Um, anyway, in the beginning, I pretty much read every one of his posts, and he was really helpful. And um, so, and I thought, well, if you know, he's so generous to the community as him, then you know, I sh- it's it's a nice thing to do. It's a good thing to do. It's good karma. So. Um, why not? You know, and um, and also, obviously, I'm a freelancer as well, so it's good for my reputation to be sort of sound, smart, and helpful if I can. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you have a programming background, or like, uh, like what what background you have? Oh uh, yeah, so I'm an old guy, so I've. <laughs> I didn't know you are a young, not an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been developer. The software developer. Thirty years. Software developer. Yeah. How? But then in the, when I then when I got a bit older, I, I sort of managed teams and did a uh, founded a company. But now that I'm sort of want a more flexible lifestyle, I just like doing. I like the. I like doing development, and making projects. I like making products. So, yeah. Um, Satisfying. So, what about yourself? What do you, what do you do? 
Yeah, okay, okay. So uh, before going on that, let me ask just a yeah. question. So what sort of programming language you are working on or are you leading the software development team only? Oh, so in the beginning, right, right back, you know, way before you were born, I was <laughs> in Perl. So, you know, and then I did Java and it's a Java for many years. And then, and then I'd started a software web company and, and we just basically had front end guys and back end guys and DevOps guys and you know lots of lots of brainy brainy guys <laughs> and um, and then I sort of got really sick of the politics of running a company. It's just horrible. I and think. you know it's managing teams and managing people is really tough and in hindsight, I probably wasn't that good at it. So, uh, but <laughs> I, I just love I love doing soft. I love making product and solving problems and those sorts of things. And that's now that I want a less stressful life. This is this is a much less stressful life for me and much more interesting and satisfying. So, yeah. there's my deep answer. <laughs> okay, so you are from New Zealand. Which part of it? Um. Um, yeah, I was born in New Zealand, but I pretty much spent my adult life in uh, London, in the UK. But a year ago, when COVID came, my family, we all came to New Zealand for to have a sort of escape. But <laughs> I'm going back to London shortly. So it was a nice kind of holiday, sort of working holiday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why you want to go to London, not in, uh, New Zealand? Why you like you ever got a friend or everything? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got friends there, and my wife's English, so um, her family's there. Wow. My life's there basically. Okay, okay. So uh, can, with bubble, I can be flexible. I can have yeah. maybe one one foot in one foot in Auckland and one foot in London. Yeah, but it's a pretty nice place. So look out the window here. You can see out there. Ah, great. You are on the beach? Uh, yeah. yeah, we're sort of on the harbour. So. Ah, sort of, oh, yeah. yeah. Nice place to live. Ah, that's... Uh, you rented out the property or like you own it? I rent. This is actually just an Airbnb for a few weeks. Ah, Airbnb, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, that's it. okay where so... Do about... Where do you live? Uh, I live in... Uh... Where I live. <laughs> where do you live? Uh, I ask in, uh, uh, live in uh, India, uh, nearby New Delhi. Okay. So, yeah. And I uh, have a, a programming background. So, also I started in the Android okay. development. And after okay. that, I build a company, IT company. Uh, yeah. Same stuff you, you like. Uh, build a company. And then also. Stress. Yes. And also. Stress. Uh, uh, after that, I think I pivoted to uh, tech hiring space. So I currently running that company oh, yeah. and uh, on a side basis, on a like a part-time basis, I basically that love of building a product that as you say, that itch me into, okay, go into the robot, skate, deep dive into the robot, because no code sort of help you, okay, see the feedback loop easily and also build a product faster and sort of you just love, okay, okay, you, you build it anything and it is there and people are used, can use it or like. So sort of a that way, I just feel like, okay, product or, and for me also product development is the easy part compared to mm. sales, compared to marketing, compared, compared to managing the people. So <laughs> building a product, I just like, if you just ask me, okay, at a right night of two o'clock, then I can happy to uh, come on the call. Cool. Okay. Cool. So how you start in the freelancing space and uh, like, I just, uh, I, w I was browsing a website and all. You are more focused on the productizing a service, sort of. A... Sort of. <laughs> that's what I thought when I created that website. You know, I thought that's that's a good angle. You know, if I make a website like this, this will get lots of customers and it'll be great. But because um, um, I thought that's the added value you can, that mm -hmm. I could have, right? I thought anyone, you can learn Bubble, right? You can learn bubble and figure out go figure out how to make stuff. But 
that's kind of the easy part. Or you were just saying how that's, you know, building the product's the easy part, you know, messing around and bubble and sort creating a product is kind of the easy part. The harder part is building a business and um, there's a whole aspect to getting a product live beyond just going, hey, look, everyone, look what I've made. It's really neat. You know, it's there's a lot of bubble projects and, and a lot of software that get get to the point where look what I've made, it's really neat. But then after that, you've got to find customers and well, you should probably start before you finish, but find customers, you know, um, do some testing, and find some product, pro figure out your product pricing and all of those things. You, all of those things have to be solved as well. It's, it's more than just, you know, creating a little website. It's building a product, product has to have, you have to sell it. And, Without without selling it and without <laughs> having customers and users, it's just a hobby. It's probably just a hobby project, right. unless you're solving some really good problem. But um, so that's that's what I thought was a good angle to have on bubble development is just being a bit more broader thinking about the business of software. It's a business, you know. We don't you don't. There's an aspect of where it's just a neat, fun thing to do, but there's an aspect which is you're trying to build a business and that has a lot more to it than just learning some development skills. So, um, and because I'm, you know, I've made lots and lots of mistakes in my career, so hopefully those have all been good lessons and I can hopefully help people avoid those mistakes maybe just get through them a bit quicker and a bit cheaper. Hopefully that's the idea. That's the idea behind the website. That's kind of what I was thinking when I built it. Okay. Okay. Why don't you try the uh, co-founder route? Okay. You, uh, you develop a product and someone else take care of the, all the other parts sort of a marketing sales, finding customer testing out and everything. And since you got a lot of experience in the 30 years in the software industry, so you know what problem, uh, works what problem not works and uh, so have you tried that route also i have yeah um i guess the so, so as a co as a founder right to start a project and get a business going you have to work really hard right <laughs> you know it you know so it's not just a 40 hour a week job and do it for three months and you've finished a product it's pretty much every every minute every thought for weeks and months is just about getting this thing working and um if you're and so this is kind of the difference from being a co found being a founder and um if it's your idea and it's your baby you'll be you're so passionate about it you're so committed to it that gives you the motivation to see see it through because it's going to be 10 times more difficult than you possibly could imagine. It's not like on TV where everyone's Mark Zuckerberg and just suddenly they've become millionaires in a, in a year's time. That's really very unusual. Very unusual. Um, reality is it's really hard work. Um, so that's so when you say co-founder, you have it, you kind of have to, if you want to be that committed, you have to be in, you have, it kind of has to be your baby as well. So I guess the, just practically speaking, um, just being a freelance person and helping people get to the place where they can prove their product. You know, and there's not that, is, is a good thing to do. There's not that many bubble, really big bubble success stories. I think you asked me before, you know, how many, do you know any, bubble projects where you've got 10,000 users. Yeah. I think the real the reality of bubble is there just aren't that many success stories. You know, there's 1.4 million deployments. There's about 40,000 registered people in the forum. There's about, you know, I think the point is there's just not that many really successful bubble projects yet. I think there are some, you know, there's some, there's some which have modest success, but I think 
there isn't there isn't the kind of you know Twitter or Facebook or anything that of that or Airbnb those super duper products just haven't launched haven't haven't actually originated from bubble and I think that'll come it just takes time um, and I'm I'm rattling on I'm not sure what the point is um, I think helping people get to their, their MVP and their product launched if you do 10 of those maybe one of them will become successful and be brilliant and be great but sadly I think a whole lot of them aren't and for lots of reasons they'll fail but I think if you can kind of get your MVP together for you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and don't burn too much money just to get to the point where you can get your launch your product see if you can get some customers see if you can figure out what the pricing is see if there's actually a, a viable business <clears throat> helping people do that is really exciting oh. and really good fun so that's my uh, yeah. sorry I wobbled on a bit but that's 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 why being a co-founder is 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 a tough is it's tough That's, yeah you have to be so committed yeah definitely definitely yeah, definitely. Finish, yeah. uh, definitely agree with you agree completely agree with you and you are right in terms of uh, someone not coming out or big big player like twitter or this year. but i think uh, it is just a feel like it is a sort of a starting from last two year even bubble have a journey of last area but sort of a from last two year they fit people have started to figure out and the number of i just see why the number of uh, bubble opportunity that comes out freelancing or full time now exactly industry is sort of a accepting okay there is a full time bubble developer is there and you can hire and i think in coming two or three years there will be one i don't know but hopefully 